Okay, welcome pool fans all over the world. We're going to watch the girls final of the WPA World Championship played in Moscow. I'm Alex Lili. Next to me is Mike Kablukov. I will be doing the commentary. Yeah, hello everyone. They're playing a race to nine. Christina Tikarch having the home court advantage, if that is an advantage. She has been uh, a delightful host on the first day that we came here. She and uh, Valeria, and now I have to check for her last name. Trushevska. Trushevskaya. Yeah, they great, Alex. <laughs> they were our uh, host, and they took us to the Red Square. We did a, we did a, a sightseeing tour, which was really nice. But with the everyday passing at this championship, Christina has become more focused. Uh, so once again, it's a race to nine for girls. We're playing in this tournament one, one on the spot. Yes, according to uh, latest changes to the WPA rules, so from now on, from uh, 218, I, I think uh, every WPA tournament is going to be played like this, and even the Euro Tour also, I think. Absolute horror for me. I don't. I'm. 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 I would like. I would like as a player and as a, a coach of players, a little more play. So a little more fight for the initiative. But it is as it is. Well, actually, you could uh, probably uh, shed some light on this one. Uh, was it uh, the Netherlands, uh, like th the origin of uh, the previous uh, ranking, like nine on the spot? The origin? Yeah. Just who? Just who just invented this one? No? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay. No, I, no. Sorry. Um, so it's one on the spot. And the three ball rule. So three balls must pass the head string minus every ball pocketed. Just a little correction. Uh, no, there is no such requirement to pass the head string, but only to break the line, to oh, touch okay. it, like the five ball does mm -hmm. right now. The five ball isn't breaking the line, I think. Well, just uh, let's assume uh, it is. Okay. It's, it's yeah. obvious that it didn't pass it. So it's not the base of the ball, but the yeah, but the, the edge. edge. Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. So, Lee Woo Jin from Korea overpowered her shot on the two. Means the catch get a chance to draw first blood in this match. The catch getting to this final with a win over April Larson in the semi-final and drowning uh, Trushevskaya in the quarterfinals 9-3. Yeah, the same the semi-final you just mentioned uh, was like uh, very tense. Uh, yeah, April April really played well and and you know it, I think in the end it was that little bit of extra experience on Tukacs's side that made her win that match. A very hard fault match that was. Well, depending on the draw, this could have been a very nice final. I mean, uh, April versus Christina. Yeah. They are friends in life. I think they made friends uh, during the first uh, edition of uh, the Atlantic Challenge Cup. So since then, uh, they were able to meet once again during the same event. Mm -hmm. Friends in life, but rivals at, are the, at table, the table, yeah. yeah. It happens. That's how it should be. So, Christina, I don't know if she got there. Here, Li Wu Jin. She got to the final, beating the uh, title holder Chen from Taiwan, 9-4 yeah, in the they semifinal. They defended champion, yeah. And in the quarterfinal, she beat Muramatsu. Of Japan? No, I'm looking. I'm wrong. Sorry. She beat her uh, 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 friend and a colleague from Korea. So so. Nine six. Yeah, that's the the girl uh, Lee. I was playing twice at the APBU championships mm -hmm. for for juniors. They made the pair, the double. 
unfortunately can't tell uh, if they want something but still uh, based on what I've seen uh, during these days uh, both of the Korean girls are pretty solid now this seems a wise choice to clip the seven and play safe I mean I'm sure the catch can cut that seven ball in with the rest but the difficulty added to that is to get out of the way with the rest after striking the ball tricky yeah that's why there is a need to always uh, just uh, provide some control of the rest with your non-shooting hand just like that nicely done still a difficult shot on the eight now i would be scared as hell to get a heavy contact on the eight because she's going to be slow rolling this ball She's very good at that type of shot. Well, luckily I didn't see many at this competition, but uh, in the semi-final with Lee involved, uh, when uh, the girl from uh, Taiwan, the Ch uh, Chen, uh, was just uh, trying to produce some sort of a comeback, I think it was stopped by probably a severe skid on the nine. Uh, I can tell. For sure, I was going to review the video just to make sure maybe just uh, she made the wrong cut, but it looked like. So yes, skidding is involved. Do you think there is a, a sure treatment for this uh, kind of things? Like, I mean, skidding, because uh, in snooker uh, the pip players are just uh, go crazy about this one. We know Sean Murphy is trying to invent yeah, some, something using like... Using more po polish on the balls, yeah, but now yeah. lately in snooker uh, the players are um, a big fan of uh, town chalk. And for some reason the amount of skids has gone down uh, by a fair amount. So I don't think you can cure it completely, but you can limit it. Well, provided, provided it's the cue ball collecting uh, most of the dust, oh. probably just cleaning the cue ball more often. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a scientist, but I think there are different types of skids. Yeah, sure. I've just been I've just been informed that April Larson is going to join me to do the commentary so that's awesome so we'll be back in uh, in a little bit So here joining me is April Larson. She got to the semi-finals. Uh, we just talked about that where she lost that uh, closely fought match with um, Christina Tkach. Welcome, April. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> How are you doing? Well, fine. It's, okay. You know, it's nice to watch good pool. It is. It's very nice. She's shooting phenomenal. So you're in a, in a very good spot now to share briefly some of your thoughts on your last semi-final with the coach do you feel like it or oh. is it a closed book oh no it's honestly i've never been so happy to lose a match before in my life because um i knew that i gave 110 percent that match and there was nothing i could do the last two uh the last two games because you know i broke and scratched and she ran out and then she broke and ran so and at that point it was seven seven so she just pulled ahead without mm -hmm. <laughs> even looking at me so um and we're we're like best friends we talk all the time even though that she lives in russia and i live in america she's like truly the one person i know better than like anybody okay so i was so happy to see her 
go on. Oh, good. Yeah, I watched that match. It was nice. A lot of heat. Oh, yeah. Many, many good shots were played. Oh, thank you. She, yeah, she, we talked before the match, like the night before, and she says that she practices like six hours a day, you know? She just, I mean, it's her life, and... Yeah, but you didn't look like, you, you look like you practice six hours oh, a day. I mean, you were hitting the ball nice. Well, thank you. Uh, no, I actually, so I have a job at Starbucks, and, um... There we go. Uh, I have a job at Starbucks and I go to school and... So and you simply cannot afford uh, investing that much time into practicing? Yeah, no, I uh, I haven't been able to practice much after school, but I have leagues and stuff that I use to try and sharpen up my game. Because mm -hmm. before I used leagues as just a fun time to play pool. Now I use it as like a serious table time. Table time. Yeah. Because every table time. So so I'm sure you have a phenomenal handwriting. <laughs> if, if you work at Starbucks, right? Uh, you know, the handwriting at Starbucks isn't actually that good. We actually have to uh, ask the the girl what she wrote half the time because we're in such a hurry since it's so busy oh, at Starbucks. Okay, okay so let's. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's check the match out. Long shot on the two, cue ball close to the rail. The three ball is available, so it's 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 you know making the two ball will win her the rack. Should win her the rack. You try slow rolling the cue ball here. Oh man, <laughs> I mean that's really all you can do to get shape on the three. Otherwise, you have to hit it hard and try and bust it out. How often do you have a chance uh, to play on such a brand new cloth uh, in the US? Um. Quite often they like to replace the cloth every. Oh wow, that was a incredible shot to get position on the three ball. Um, they like to replace the cloth for every big pro well, I, mean, I mean, the, the, the conditions uh, were just close to what you are used to. Yeah, yeah, these ones were very good conditions because you could tell, like, the f my first match there was not a spot on the table. <laughs> it was. It was very professional. I loved it. And this is a testy little shot here because she, she's playing a high ball. Cuba will go forward. She knew or probably expected to have this leave on the four. It's a steep cut to the side pocket or a bank. The five ball sitting right in the pocket, so I'm pretty sure that she's going to play whichever shot she's more comfortable with and just go for whatever the table leaves her. Mm -hmm. Good point. Whatever shot she feels comfortable with. Which well, was the bank. <laughs> yeah, in the first match of the day, the Hong Kong player, Robbie Capito, showed some incredible skills at banking, but unfortunately it didn't uh, help him much. Because the uh, Pekle Manage uh, produced almost like robotic uh, yeah, he played kind great. of play. Yeah. So this is twice a gross, uh, or can she hold it? What do you guys think? Um, she's probably gonna go twice a cross just to make sure she gets the power. Ooh. Well, she got the power. She <laughs> got the power. She forgot to spin the ball though. She lost control. So how do you play? And I know um, it's sometimes difficult to see right. on on the screen what exact angle she has, but if she can like stun it over to the side with a lot of draw mm -hmm. and put some spin on it and come straight back off, Yikes. that's probably what I would do. But she's right on the rail, so it's going to be tough. And maybe just cinch to six. Yeah. And see what she gets. Make the ball. Oof. No. Okay. I for sure thought that was going to go. Interesting position. Because the nine will block the seven to the same pocket. I think sh Christina will. Well, well <laughs> I don't know what to think. It's either bump the, bump the nine. Yeah. Might come up in behind, but then you risk getting snuckered by the nine. But then, you know, if she if she goes into it directly or playing real first, mm -hmm. I think I would play this with a little speed. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't try to finesse it because 
such a tricky and such a tight spot. Right. She might just opt for it in the corner, in the far corner. Just come right behind the nine just ball. Just stop it. Oh, she's playing for a combo. Oh no. She's good. Well, she's in line. <laughs> but too far? <laughs> yeah, quite far. And probably a little bit awkward with bridging. Yeah. Now this is like a poker to have uh, ace-king. Mm -hmm. She could play containing safety. Do you play poker, bird, by the way, April? Because uh, I have no clue about uh, what well, Alex <laughs> she, just said. You know, it looks tempting to play mm -hmm. the 7 and, and, and she'll play it, of course, but she could clip the 7 and send it to the middle of the short rail. That's true. And play going a containing behind shot. The, going behind the 9-ball. Uh, Shot on for Lee. Well, the position is going to be tricky. On the pr we saw a previous shot from Lee Wu Jin where she she had to stroke that ball mm -hmm. and she overhit it and didn't get the, the the spin on the ball. So this is the same type of stroke. She can't hit it too hard. Oh no. She undercut it. Undercut it, and I, I think, in order to get the cue ball where she wanted the cue ball to be. So, yeah. my guess is that on those stroke shots, she, she, she lacks a little bit finesse. Mm -hmm. At this stage, at least. Everybody has their uncomfortable shot, and I'm I'm picking up that I think that's her uncomfortable shot, trying to get shaped two rails down. Wow, Smooth. what a stroke! Yeah. What's your uncomfortable shot? Um, you don't want to share it. In no, public? no. <laughs> My uncomfortable shot is probably the uh, so right by the side pocket when the the ball's on the rail and you have a sharp frozen. cut at it, yeah, yeah. It's, and when it's so frozen. When it's not frozen, I can usually figure it out, but... Well, just, I think uh, one, one, one of the, the best advice from Shane and Boney, just, just uh, don't uh, put this cube on the rail, yeah. <laughs> very true, <laughs> very true. Very steep cut. She's even giving a little bit of check side, it seems. Watch out the cube ball. Oh. Short side. <laughs> Christina Tokarczy is an eight-time European champion. Wow. Phenomenal player. Very phenomenal, phenomenal player. Yet, I do think that in this tournament, um, well, struggling is maybe a big word, mm -hmm. but she's not flawless. I mean, she's, she's working yeah, and grinding to get of the course result. Of she, course, she's nervous because she's playing at home, so many fans around. Yeah, yes. I think so, yeah. I think she's thinking that if any year is going to be her year, this is it. You know, she's made it this far. Uh, she She's come to this tournament so many times, just as I have. So, I'm sure she's thinking, you know, take advantage of it while you can and while yeah, you're in this sure. position. So ju ju just April, like April, April said, it's now or never. Right. Yeah. Probably. Now, this shot, I like to hit it the way she does, dig down and, and spin it. Because mm -hmm. if you play it with a flat cue, it makes the shot more difficult, but if you play with a level cue, mm -hmm. you know it's difficult. You get a lot of uh, skid, a lot of yes. risk yeah. of skidding. Well, from my experience of playing in such conditions, oh. which of course is not uh, as big as uh, yours, Alex, uh, uh, my observation is that it's pretty hard to d to throw the ball uh, like uh, with the spin. It mm -hmm. just doesn't grab. Yeah. Yes. Oh, on the new cloth, you mean? The oh, new with with, poli with polished balls, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it plays different. That was a great shot. Good shot there. Li Bu Jin scoring her first point, leveling the score at one all.
break three. Christina's break. She's very good at controlling the one ball. I also noticed in, yes. in the match that she played it with you. Yes, very good. She did have a dry break against me, which was uncharacteristic like of her. I mm -hmm. was definitely very shocked. But, you know, everybody sometimes gets a little excitement built and yeah. hit it, hits it wrong a little bit. But this looks like a pretty wide open table. Obviously, anything can happen since it's nine ball, but... Well, we're sorry, uh, just a little bit. Uh, I think uh, nobody could hear what uh, just April has just said. Uh, could you please repeat it once again? Oh. You were muted. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Um, no, I, I was just saying that Christina had a dry break against me, which was very uncharacteristic of her, but this break looks pretty wide open. She made a ball, so um, I feel like if she takes her time, does what she does best. Mm -hmm. She could be out here for sure. Great shot. shot. Yeah. Now, question is whether the four passes the eight ball. Right. Personally, depending on the uh, angle she's got on this three, how sharp it is, she could possibly roll up for it in the side, but then you risk not getting shape to get onto the or six ball. maybe just try to uh, use the whole pocket, like maybe cheating it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. but she, she's going to be needing speed to get to the That's six. That's very true. Good shot. Yeah, nice. Yeah, very nice angle. Perfect. Just a natural roll. Yep. Now, let's look at how she delivers the stroke on this shot, because in general, the, the girls and the women, they mm -hmm. play this a little smoother. Yep. The men tend to punch this shot, take two rails to the six. Perfect. Good speed. Yeah, the problem when we slow roll it like that is you risk getting straight on on the six ball. It happens quite often. You'll notice that they'll ha we'll have to draw it out because mm -hmm. we're just worried about making the ball. A uh, sign of tension, I think. Mm -hmm. She ended up a little short on the seven. It's either twice across. For me, this is always twice across. Yeah. I, I noticed you that you, you, you prefer to punch the ball mm -hmm. as well. I just have way too many times hit it too soft and the table rolls or something happens funky where, you well, know... The ball keeps in. Yeah, yep. So I always like to just make sure you make the ball. <laughs> just like that. The system of MTB. The system of what? MTB. Oh. <laughs> make the ball. <laughs> Very true. I teach a little bit and then uh, sometimes students they want to know a lot of theory and how to aim and mm -hmm. sometimes it's just make the ball make the ball <laughs> make the ball see the next ball well after very all true. this is the all the game is about like make the ball yeah very true that's so a the, very the good the, the rules changing so from one game to another the catch really showing your experience here and her mental strength, because it hasn't been flawless, this wreck. No. She had to work for it. She did. But she got out. She got out. That was a break and run, correct? Yep. Good wreck. Very good wreck. So, um, what do you have coming up to look forward to? Um, I am actually going to the Moscone Cup, and it's going to be the first time I've ever seen it in, like, mm -hmm. in person. And my sister got the tickets for Christmas oh, or like perfect. something special. Yeah. Um yeah, I'm I'm excited to I'm excited for this year's team. I mean I know that America the, the, Oh uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um I know that uh, America has <laughs> struggled. Yeah. Um even though, you know, they're the they're the best we have and I'm not bashing them whatsoever. They they try their hardest and we all know that. Um but I'm excited for this year's team. You oh, know, definitely. Yeah, listen, Thorpe, 
Yeah. Uh, Woodward, uh, Woodward and Shane, they got to the final at the World Cup of Pool. Yeah. Uh, Johan is there. And, uh, you know, things yeah. are happening and yeah. it, it's definitely starting to look better and better. Definitely. And it, it seemed, it has seemed sometimes in the uh, past few years like the difference is big, but it's it's marginal. It is. It can it turn. Is. It can definitely turn. Do you turn. think we will uh, ever uh, see a female player, maybe in the team USA? Um, I really hope so. I mean, I was, I had heard through the grapevine, but I, I honestly don't know, so do not quote me on this. I would love if somebody could tell me if this is true or not, but I heard that women aren't allowed on it, but I am not sure if that's a rule. Maybe, maybe, just time to just uh, get uh, one, at least one female player on both sides. Yeah, that would be... That would be incredible if that's something that I would be able to because work Actually, for. I think uh, it uh, is the way uh, the Moscone Cup started, actually. Li mm -hmm. Wujin is playing all offense here. There should be plenty of elevation to get that cue ball wow. airborne. Nice try. Yeah, and not. And not. I see yes. I, when, I, when I watch you girls play, you play a jump shot, and I hear people uh, <laughs> compliment, and you just went over the ball. And I think, listen, these girls are so skillful, they'll jump with ease. That's one thing I have noticed about Christina is, you know, if you leave her a uh, safe, it has to be lock up because she's dangerous with that jump cue. Very no, dangerous. Russian juniors uh, practice these types of shots, like Fedor Gorst uh, is a beast with uh, the short stick. Oh wow. Three rails around. Difficult shot on a TV table. Wow, so smart. This is smart. Even though she didn't get there. That was the you. I understand way to why go. she played it right. like that, because Go forward three rails with inside English on the, on the sliding table is, is tricky. It's difficult. Yeah, Don't it's difficult. you think the decision was pretty dangerous because of the side pocket? I understand her decision. I'm not, you know, I don't know what I would have played or what the best shot would have been, but as April said before, you know, the player chooses, a good player chooses the shot that he or she is most comfortable with. Right. It was a good shot, but unless I mean, yeah, the leave is now there <laughs> with the opponent. But very difficult. She hit that with a sm smooth stroke, though. So Li Wu Jin getting a good opportunity. I played her earlier in the tournament, mm. and she uh, she beat me pretty bad. She's very strong when she's calm. <laughs> I don't know if she's... I would expect she's a little nervous playing on this tournament, but... Well, usually the players from Asia, they are famous for like, being very tough opponents in terms yes. of mental, mental play. They're mentally very prepared. I don't know. Is that something that we think? <laughs> Because they show less emotions, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, at least it looks like so. Maybe it has something to do with the so-called Zen or whatever. Zen. Like the, the overall philosophy. Like mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, as a culture, I think uh, yeah. in general they're more humble. Yeah, showing less emotions, that's a part of culture, mm -hmm. spot on. But on the other hand, times are changing. I watch a lot of snooker, I commentate the snooker, and the, the youngsters from China, you know, they have a, d a different approach and demeanor at the table. This is a big shot here. She executed it nice. very well. Yeah, 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 because on a new cloth, if you play that with a little too much elevation, when you think you're playing top spin, it might stun a little bit. But she got there. I've also noticed that many players struggle to get off that bottom rail. I don't know why. If it's just, like you said, the elevation kind of makes it stun a little bit. But 
I've noticed a lot of players coming up short on yeah, shots that, like that. Yeah, that's because when the cue ball goes towards the short rail, it mm -hmm. arrives rolling with topspin, and then when it comes out of the rail, the topspin is is reversing First, the yep. yeah, the speed of the cue ball, so it slows down. It's, it's also with the leg. Yep. With the leg, you see it very clearly. Mm -hmm. Strong she, shot. Yeah, she looks like she's calmed down. I think this is going to be a very close match. I love it. <laughs> well, yesterday in the semi-final uh, versus the defending champion, Lee started uh, like mm -hmm. with uh, four or maybe even five uh, wrecks, opening wrecks. Uh, Chen took her time out and it helped just a little bit, but still not enough. Yeah, I watched that match, and Chen, the title holder, really wasn't wasn't at the races. No. I don't know why or what or how, but uh, it wasn't happening. Well, Lee produced a couple of uh, very nice safeties, yeah. which resulted in ball in hand for her. Yeah, and, and, and Chen, Chen missed two straight in nines. I saw. Yeah. Well, just uh, one of them uh, was uh, like I described uh, as a suspect for. A skidded ball, mm -hmm. probably. Still, I didn't review the tape, so I can't tell for sure. But it looked like because you don't expect a player of such caliber just to, to blindly miss it. Exactly. And then it, it actually that nine I, I'm talking about was never close. It proves though that everybody's human, you know, that everybody can have a bad match. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, I love that like to refer. Um, I think I'm 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 <laughs> the best at that. I in the World Pool Masters finals I missed three nine balls oh in the no. final. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. And we saw Peggy Lyon against Jason Shaw in the World yep. Pool Masters quarter final, I think. That's a couple of months ago. Well actually I came a little prepared uh, to be sitting here with you and I got a question uh, to you uh to share uh, your feelings in that match uh, versus Afrin Reyes uh, at the World Pool Masters. Oh, that like one I won. Like it was uh, against yeah, UK yeah. that I missed. Ah, I see. The, the expectations towards uh, that one? No, no. What happened? It's a long time ago, but yeah. uh, give me my, my two minutes, please. Um, <laughs> no, I was playing flawless. The second year I was playing better than the first year, so I was playing without my guard up. Mm -hmm. I was playing flawless, and then I was thinking, I started to think, wow, I'm in the final and I'm playing flawless. Mm -hmm. Like, like Sanjin. Yes. But I took my eye off the ball and I missed one, then oh I panicked no. and then I missed two, and then I, you know, you know. It happens. It happens, yeah, it, it happens. happens. She really stroked that ball. Yeah, she hit that nice super break. Yeah. And this is a little bit what I saw yesterday also, you know, she's, which is normal because she's playing for a world title. Very true. She's feeling the heat. Who do you think is favored for this match? Or do you think it's going to be a tie? <laughs> Whoever wants it the most. That's a coin toss, actually. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. Mm. Unrewarded with the leave. So this actually is a nice kick shot. It's not super easy, but if she comes off the sh uh, short rail, mm -hmm. plays to hit, to clip the six. Mm -hmm. If she hits it thicker, she'll send the six towards the other long rail, and thinner, the cue ball will go towards the seven. Mm -hmm. Side pocket. <laughs> Just Maybe <look>. snooker. <laughs> I believe that she's snookered from this angle, is what it looks like. Oh, the, the top view is uh, usually deceiving a little bit. Yeah, it yeah. is. Because uh, the in shot terms is of like whether the ball passes or not. Uh, Lee has already looked at the seven. Yeah. So yeah, it's she, open. Yep. Very nice. Strong shot. I think you're right. I think she's calmed her nerves a little bit. And it's also like mm -hmm. it, if you have a good run as a player, a good form, a good couple of weeks, it also depends what shots you're getting. 
like I'm sure that those longer stroke shots for Lee are challenging. Yeah. But it depends whether she's getting them or not. Right. You know, maybe next rack she, she, she's gonna have to come with one of the strokes, miss it, and then the match can turn. Right. I think only the real elite players can come with all shots. Agreed. Is she gonna punch it or top spin? I, from the looks of What's it, your like call, gonna... Alex? Well, what do you prefer? What well do you recommend I here? I, I would punch this because it's tricky, and, and I would like to hit it with a little more authority. Uh, could you probably give a reason uh, why the top players usually, uh, most uh, often, they, they punch the like the money ball, or whatever? Like, is it a nine ball or eight ball, whatever? They very rarely slow roll it. So there was a punch? Well, she wasn't decided yet on how to play it. I think yeah. she was still... You, you saw her cue go from yeah. middle to a little bit below I mean center. She, she's a it out. very skillful player. Yeah, that's and a weird... If, and if a stroke looks that weak, it's probably because her brain hadn't decided yet. Mm. Wow. Well, that could be costly. So back to the nine ball. When it is like in the raking area, standard you have a standard nine. Uh, just uh, yeah. Well, I see uh, almost everyone just hit it with authority. Oh, the Never shot, the shot that she just yeah, had. Even, even well, or maybe even a straight, okay. a straight in or whatever. They never like uh, it, it is available for natural follow, but still they hit it. Like maybe trying to avoid well, uh, it's, something. It's in if you follow again. it, uh, you can get a skid easier. If you punch it, you know, and you have a little bit, you're a little bit nervous or edgy. If you punch it, you have more. Uh, it's easier to hit the ball with a positive strike. Mm -hmm. But I must say, with the angle that she had, if I can play that shot with top spin and a trace of outside to, to get the cue ball out two rails, but with a top spin stroke. That's the way I play it, and, and it's five years ago that I decided to always play it like that, mm -hmm. and it has helped me because then I don't have to choose. Uh, yeah. When I see that shot, sometimes the thought comes, okay, punch it and say no. So I don't, I don't have to choose, I know what I play. And I know several players uh, who play uh, the money ball uh, with a little bit of help in English. Mm -hmm. Outside speed. Every, every yeah. time, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I also think it's very cool that the referee, I think it's, is it Andre? Yeah. Andre yep. Yeah. He uh, used to play in this tournament, and I remember when we, when I saw him every year at these, and now it's really cool to see him helping out and growing the event. It's very... Yeah. good point. It's very... Uh, whole. Yeah, whole and heartwarming to see that oh, he didn't nice. give up after he was done playing, you know? No, and he's, he's still, you know... He's well, he, he's not done. Uh, he's playing, uh, like, at the senior level now, but... Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Like, like <laughs> right. Uh, uh, Sergei, what's his last Lutzker? name? Lutzker. Sergei Lutzker. He's also a referee here. He's a little more firmly as built far, As far as I know, it was... Andre, and he finished semi-final on the Euro Tour wow. six weeks ago. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, as far as I know, it was Andrew, like, responsible uh, for... Uh, gathering the local referee crew, yeah, so th that was the reason he didn't look that far. Like he, he was asking his fellow players, like mm -hmm. Sergey Artem is also involved here. Yeah. I just think it's very neat that the community of pool is so strong. That where, they contribute. Yeah, like where they're going places themselves, mm -hmm. but then they they look back and they they go back and help where they started. Is they just give back. Yeah. Exactly. So you're gonna be doing some refereeing in the future. Yeah, and actually, you're actually, dead, actually right? <laughs> some of them, some of them uh, shared with me that uh, actually uh, the the reason uh, they decided to so to help with refereeing is just to get uh, to the other side of the event of the professional tournament and mm -hmm. just uh, to know e to know even the rules better because uh, like uh, players rarely know all the rules. Some of them uh, have never even read it, I think. Yeah, That's completely. I mean, the, the rules and regulations of all this stuff. She missed it to the 
Yeah, the good side. on the pro side, I think, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe the push wasn't so good. Yeah. Well, anyway, the safety was on, like so, uh, as a second option. Mm -hmm. Very natural route. Now, now with the five and nine being where they are, I would look. Even if I don't see the right side of the one ball, I think I'd, I'd play it with a f level Q and right spin, but oh, the Q ball's fully in the way. Strong shot. Nine ball. Got the nine ball moving for sure. And the safety's there. Mm -hmm. It's a nice distance for Christina to catch between the one and the rail. Yes. To kick and stick. It's easy to stick the cue ball there. Of course, she needs to control the one ball as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. just just take care not to make the one. It happens sometimes. Yeah. When you produce a perfect safety, but the ball is in. Plus that nine ball is there, so you never know. It could hit from this angle. It looks like if you were to. Hit stick, there's a chance it hits that nine ball. Yeah. Or she could just opt to make it. <laughs> yeah, she, she had a good view of the one. I don't know, is the safe there? Wow. Great try. Yeah, like as you guys were saying earlier, with the table sliding and everything, I'm sure she thought that she had a bit of the rail to work with, mm -hmm. you know, have it slide in, but they're getting played on a lot more often, so now well, I don't think they're sliding as much. Sometimes it's so weird that uh, uh, the shots that uh, look similar, one of them goes and another mm -hmm. just does not. Mm -hmm. So what's the reason for this one, from your experience? Um, of course, speed is, but uh, provided the speed is uh, just the, she, almost the same, yeah. She definitely hit the speed, I think, perfect to have it slide in. Maybe just had the wrong spin on it. I mean, that's a possibility because if you don't, if you don't have the right speed in it or the right spin and it hits the side of the pocket, then it's gonna, you know, push it the opposite way rather than into the pocket. Yeah. Skriti wind in Russian, right? Skriti wind. Well, uh, I confess I have never heard this one. Oh, it's hidden in English. Hidden English, yeah. Hidden English. Well, you said it perfectly in Russian. Just uh, every Russian would understand you, but uh, I don't think. But uh, just not you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I think she could see. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we saw her jump. I mean, she has no difficulty to get over that five <laughs> if it be in the way. Very true. And it is. Christina just overrode that slightly. Wow. Nice shot. Yeah. Came up a little short, but can't control the cue ball too much when you're jumping. This is going to be a very difficult shot. Maybe she would even opt for the safety. No, if she has, if she can pocket the two, she'll attack. Let's see. Oh, it's very, ooh, it's yeah, a but very where steep. <laughs> yeah, where to? To the left corner? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought left corner yeah. and then loaded up with center left mm -hmm. to go long so rail, short rail, back you're to you're forced long you're, you're forced to go around the table then. Well, stay stay on that side with left spin, like a, a Efren Reyes type of shot. Mm -hmm. It's a three cushion type of shot to go back to the same long rail with left. Oh. So she decided the opposite. Going with the right hand English. Yeah. Looks like that two ball may pass through by the uh, five ball. Yeah, it was a difficult, difficult route. So she tried a shot that wasn't there. Mm -hmm. That's how she missed a shot. 
difficult here for Christina to get the top spin on the ball. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Wow. What a shot. Superb. Of course, in the new cloth helps, but uh, with such a distance between uh, the, the cue ball and the blue too, it was tremendous actual effort. Still not out of the woods here. Would you just draw back about a foot? Uh, well, just. <laughs> uh, yeah. 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 Okay. And then, and then maybe I would, you know, I think, I think here maybe you can chew. If she's going forward. She might have the angle to come off the bottom rail. That's interesting. Nice. nice shot. I wouldn't have the heart to play it the way that she played it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two great shots in a row. I also noticed that with females, we opt for if there's any chance of us playing topspin, mm -hmm. we'll figure out how to use topspin rather than draw because I've, oh, I've noticed draw is more difficult. That's natural. That's the easiest of them three. Like uh, pick in between uh, draw, st stop, or follow. Follow is uh, always easier. Mm -hmm. For everyone. Tricky position. Yeah. Looks like she's still got it in them. It's corner. it's a very interesting match after the blitz final by Pelivanovic in the in the pupil division. Because he he, he ran over his opponent oh, one nine definitely. one. And now we see the other side of the coin in this final. This is like a grind. Yeah, definitely. This will be a huge so game for Christina. What do you prefer personally? No, it's it, it's all good. I love to see perfect pool and, perfect. I and and I love to see blood, sweat, and tears, like they say in the UK, a pint of blood on every shot. Mm. <laughs> That's what it is right here. I mean, she's really working hard right now. But isn't this style of play like uh, draining you mentally? Yeah, but y you can choose. You can choose to 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 be in the zone. I mean, we'd all be in the wow. zone all the time. You that know? was a fantastic shot. She's playing as it comes. Nice shot. <laughs> a lot of hard work by Tukac. You can kind of tell by her her walk, she's exhausted from that rack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was. I'm here with uh, Jan van Lierop from the Netherlands, and uh, you know, I work with him back home, and 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 in this tournament, you know, he, he has been playing well, and, and 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 he told me it's so draining. He said because he played <laughs> just one match on the day, and he said it's so draining. I said, ta da. <laughs> That, that's pro pool. I mean, you have to give everything. You're up against skilled opposition. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, Alex, we know you as uh, one of the most famous European coaches around. Uh, so, do you take any kind of position uh, at the Netherlands Federation right now, or like maybe official uh, coach for the team? Yeah, yeah. I work with uh, not Nico, all Nick Vandenberg and uh, Niels Fine and uh, uh, all the guys. Yeah. Well, I've worked a lot with Niels. Uh, a little less with Nick. I'm not working with Nick right now, you know. Um, but mainly with the younger, younger players at the moment. So Tim, the yeah, we know that uh, you, you know, you do, you take uh, the guys to the derby seat. Uh, just and, uh, yeah, yeah, I did that two years ago. That's where we met. Yep, April. that's where I first like yeah. Mark, Mark, Mark Bisterbos. Mark Bisterbos, now yeah. a European champion. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's playing really well. Yeah, Marco, a, Marco Teutcher. It's a, a Marco Teutcher has moved to New Zealand. Wow. Uh, you know he's in love, and he, he followed the girl to New Zealand. So he gave up playing pool. <laughs> no, he's now the king of New Zealand. Uh, it seems. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Yeah. So no, he's good. It's you know. Us girls are nothing but trouble. I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I've also got a question uh, to you. Do you uh, coach uh, like uh, by Skype or Facebook or whatever? Like yeah, dis distant coaching. W yeah, when I work with Niels, it's by Skype because he lives in Denmark, and I. Oh, maybe maybe you. Uh, yeah give some kind of classes to everyone who could apply or 
Well, I work with a couple people from uh, just amateur players yeah, yeah. from from Lithuania, from Poland, and from Italy. You know, it's fun. It's Skype. It's easy. I make a coffee. I make a sandwich. <laughs> I sit down <laughs> and, and we work. And it's it's not as good as if I were there with them. Yeah, sure, because you can uh, not produce any kind of straight punishment for the <laughs> no, for the I people. Can. Yeah. I mean. I mean I can tell Switch them, it off. Yeah. I can tell them what to do. So That's I'm just amazing. like a personal trainer, or sometimes we watch a video and we discuss it together, or okay. or they make a picture of a layout and we discuss it. And if I need to show something, I'll, I'll film myself, you know, with vi with telephones and yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. It's so easy. April, do you have a personal coach? I do not. I have never really had a personal coach. I had one person in specific who I who gave me like my basic fundamentals when I start, first started playing and that was June Myers and I try to give her credit everywhere I can because she so she worked with the juniors in America where I'm from in Minnesota and um, she doesn't anymore but she did and I feel like a lot of people put her to the wayside because she doesn't work with the kids anymore you know but she she started a lot of kids with their fundamentals so I, I credit her to a lot of the uh, the smooth stroke I have you know and the uh, um, staying down yeah, that, good that's form, the one yeah, thing yeah. yeah good form for sure and by the way uh, we'd like to remind to our viewers that uh, we're live on Facebook so there is a chat uh, if you have any questions to pro player April Larson or Alex Lady one of the best coaches around, a guy with very vast, ex vast experience uh, actually, so just feel free to ask and they will give their insights, which are like priceless, <laughs> really believe me. <laughs> Having a, a good player nearby is very good, like that's an opportunity to get uh, into the player's head every time. Yeah. Good, good break by Christina. Yesterday against you, uh, April, she she managed to uh, n not make the one ball. Mm -hmm. Came over the side pocket. Mm -hmm. How big is that? Or what were you trying to do? You know, I was trying to make that wing ball every time mm -hmm. because that seemed to be the one thing working for me. You know, you have to hit the rack nearly flawless to get that one ball to go on these tables but sometimes you hit it and it goes in because you hit that perfect point whether you were trying or not but um yeah no i noticed she was like i said earlier she was struggling at the beginning of our match to get her break down but she uh i'm glad to see she got it down for this match i mean i haven't seen her make less than less than two balls yeah. on every break well, this uh, with the current uh, rack placement, uh, making the wing ball uh, using the magic rack is uh, almost a given. Mm -hmm. Don't you think yeah. so? I yeah. Yeah, but that's the trap. <laughs> I think uh, there's always a trap, and that's the trap. I think because then you you're gonna try, or I I, I know from my experience and of players that you then want to control your position. Yeah. And in doing so making a cut break etc maybe you lose the cue it's 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 difficult it's difficult right. that's definitely the difference i've seen over myself in the past couple of years of this tournament is like every every year i learn something and um the past couple of years the the uh, most important things i've learned is number one the break is the most important shot you need to take it seriously just because the wing ball goes doesn't mean that you can just let up yeah. and make that wing ball um yeah, sure. Here you still have to drive uh, like the other balls uh, towards the head swing. Mm -hmm. The three ball, three point rule. Yes, very true. Are you still eligible uh, to participate in the, the juniors uh, next year? Or? Yes, so next year will be my last year, and then I believe I have two more years in the Atlanta Challenge Cup, so hopefully I can make the team the next two years. That yeah, wishing you luck with this one. Thank you. It's going to be in uh, New Orleans. Is it really? Oh, you you did, did it now? I did not know that. <laughs> okay. Nice stroke That's there exciting. by Tikach. Yes, great yeah. out. Again, losing position slightly. Mm -hmm. 
good win. This is an example of having what having a good break does for you, you know? Well, in modern pool, uh, break is everything. Mm -hmm. Just do whatever game you take from one pocket to eight ball. Mm -hmm. One pocket, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've got an Iowa one pocket specialist, Alex Lely is the one I think uh, who is responsible hey. for bringing uh, the Derby City format to Europe, trying to arrange uh, these uh, bank, uh, bank pool and uh, one pocket at well, Derne City Classic. I, I'm a proponent, I'm not an organizer, but uh, you know, we have a community and we're trying to, to, to make the game grow. You know, it's, I, think, I think it's good to play all games, three cushion billiards, Maybe even pyramid, pyramid. What they play in uh, Russia: three cushion, snooker, bank pool, eight ball, last pocket. You know, any anything to learn. They all help you in some way, and yeah. they all affect some part of How your game. How often do you April play like uh, one pocket all banks? All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, I have not gotten the bug to play one pocket <laughs> because. <laughs> All I do is if I if I want to like learn, you know, you have to watch, and whew, <laughs> that's a game to watch. <laughs> yeah, sure. Ooh, uh, that's a game to watch. <laughs> uh, have you ever played some uh, fun games like uh, Cutthroat? Uh, they have yeah. uh, the variety of uh, them in, yeah, in I, America. Yeah, I I actually. Uh, so what's your favorite? My favorite. Okay, so I have played Bank Pool a little bit this summer. I've kind of been trying to pick that up because it helps you uh, with the easier banks. You know, yeah. like it helps you control the easier banks. Now I can not only make the bank, but I can know where the QL is going. So, um, probably bank pool. Honestly, I'm getting that that bug. I wanted, I asked my dad if I could go play the bank pool and derby, so we'll see if he... Uh, can I get the bank pool bug? <laughs> yeah, can I get the... <laughs> Very, very difficult shot to attempt. Mm -hmm. Or rotation. Filipino rotation, mm -hmm. like 61 rotation, good game to play also. Have you heard about American rotation? Yeah. yeah just, did you try it? What do you think about this one? Because I think the yeah. idea was pretty nice and just, uh, I think it was Joe Tucker trying to promote several tournaments, but uh, it just didn't get a go. I Phenomenal think. shot by Christina. Yeah, good speed there. Um, I've watched it. I haven't played it. I so also find a problem of mine is I can't find somebody to um, teach me. You know, like mm -hmm. a lot of people in Minnesota will teach me how to play one pocket. It's just whether or not I want to learn. <laughs> no, but maybe one pocket, you know, straight pool is a good game to mm -hmm. learn. Bank pool, you know. I've, I've heard from many people You're that... You're still young. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that I should learn them, but... No. Now, this kick shot that uh, Lee needs to play on the two, what I like is that the cue ball and the two ball are at the same distance from, almost at the same distance from the rail. So that makes it relatively easy to read the angle. Yeah. But she's opting for a two rail kick shot mm -hmm. with the two behind her. She doesn't see the two, well. which is super difficult to hit. So this was an amazing hit on the two. Definitely. Very nice. I don't. I don't. Well, probably because she felt it. Mm -hmm. The two real shot. Mm -hmm. The one she was more comfortable with yeah. at the moment. So, straightforward containing safety. Christina could play, cutting the two ball back to end behind the five ball, giving the opponent nine feet. Wow. All offense. Wow. She's surprising me this match because she's normally a defensive player. Yeah. But she's going for a lot and it's it's working for her, but it's very shocking. Yeah, she must feel shot. very comfortable right now. Now watch how good she stands still on the shot. Mm hmm And that was perfect. Little, she never little moved. fast, little strong. But you're right on the on the form. She did not move. Yeah, technically, just only the shooting hand was in motion. Mm -hmm. Like a statue with a rubber arm. 
-hmm. And actually, that's the way you expect every player to try to perform on every single shot. Mm -hmm. Now, would you cut this here? Well, y uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because she's favored to make it. Mm -hmm. But here the cue ball travels away and you must have a clear image of the path of the cue ball. Mm -hmm. What it will do, how you need to play the shot. Because if the cue ball goes in between the six and the side pocket, then it's a relatively free shot and you should just bear down and float it in. Yes. That's what it looks like. She opted for the save there. She didn't like it. But nice. after all, she tied the five. Strong. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, this is at least advantage because she can clip the five, knowing the five will stay there. Very true. But you know, to catch first, she she played that two to the side pocket, offensive. Mm -hmm. Then she gets with an awkward angle on the five, and she's so mature as a player that she recognized, you know. Maybe she could miss that ball. Right. So the six is in the way. If the six weren't there, Lee could play this with a trace of right spin. Go Come to the long ball. Yeah, and behind the nine. She's playing differently. Yeah, left English. Yeah, hitting Apparently. the other side of the five. Try and get behind that six ball. Oh, that's a nice try, but not successful here. I'm sure Christina's going to draw to the long rail and back out. Is that what you think she would do, or is she going, oh, she's no, she's going top? Top oh. spin around, yeah. Okay. Lee failed to control the five ball, I think, uh, well, uh, on her previous I shot. I don't know. It was a free shot hitting the five on the other side. You're, you're guaranteed to have that at five on the short rail, so I don't could understand. Have been she, could have been she overlooked the option. Mm, that might hurt. I didn't know if that eight ball from the angle that we saw was in the way to go top. So well, I possibly. Figured, I figured, yeah. you know. Oof. It's, it's things like these that, that make players like to catch miss shots. Mm -hmm. It's not an, an, a, a flawed stroke, 9 out of 10, but it's more the path of the cue ball. Mm hmm, hmm a deep sigh by Levo Jean because she knows that this is going to cost her dearly or she expects it to cost her dearly. She just doesn't look very comfortable. Which is unfortunate because she, when she is comfortable, we get a good show. <laughs> yeah, a heck of a player. I don't know, Christina's looking at it. Um, how did the cue ball and the five ball end up? I guess she is snookered. Good outcome. Uh, another shot from the distance for mm -hmm. the Korean girl. Yeah. You don't, you know, I don't think she, she doesn't need to attack. She can play containing safety, bank the five towards the six. And have the Cuba come up behind the eight. Ball. Yeah. I mean, object ball first. At least don't give an open shot on the five and possibly behind the eight. Nice wow. Shot. Very nice. She came with it when she needed to. Good shot. Yeah, it's funny. I uh, didn't know the semifinals since I've never made it to the semifinals was a different race. So <laughs> I'm sitting there thinking that when I played my match against Alex Booth, um, it's a race to seven, and I got... I got to seven, went to shake her hand, and the whole crowd started laughing. And I was like, I don't know, what's funny? <laughs> and they're like, Well, actually, I think it says uh, 
the tournament regulations that uh, for the single elimination uh, you have extended race and uh, in girls division uh, the single elimination starts with semi-finals yeah or qu quarters yeah was it i don't remember <laughs> Oh yeah, quarters, yeah, because yeah. quarters is when I was playing Alex, but... Well, actually, uh, there was a funny thing yesterday. Very uh, strong. The nine is down. Uh, so yesterday, uh, the guys, I think, uh, the under-17 division, the semi-final they were playing and um, the uh, score update at the tournament desk for the head referee was a little bit off just it was late mm -hmm. uh, so this the scoring said uh, probably like something like six to four and uh, they noticed players sh shaking hands and they they thought the same just mm -hmm. uh, they were playing to shorter race yeah so just they asked the referee please uh, go and tell them that they are playing the race to nine yeah. but it appeared that uh, the score was correct uh, for the players mm -hmm. That's funny. <laughs> so what happened in rack 8? Christina had that shot on the 2 mm -hmm. to go forward 2 rails around the 8. She missed that. Mm -hmm. And then... It was from the 5 to the 6. 5 to the 6. So, yeah, she missed that and then... Uh, her opponent missed as well, left her a snooker, and she left a difficult shot that her opponent got out of. So, is that legal? an unforced error by Christina in the previous rec, and it all depends on the layout now after this break. I mean, if she has a shot on the one... I believe that's I April is spot break. on, yeah, on, only one ball down, so this is a legal break. So this, this after the previous wreck where the catch missed that opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, momentum could start to change, change a little bit. Well, swing. <laughs> swing. <laughs> now, nestle up behind Should the two on. ball. Great shot. Very nice. Very nice. And what I like there, you know, it looks like a simple shot, but she took those extra two, three strokes to really make sure. And really, from, yeah. from from my own experience, it's very easy. On like once again, on brand new cloth, just to overrun the cue ball. Mm -hmm. yeah. You give it, you give you give it a shot you are used to, like with the same speed, and uh, all of a sudden uh, yeah. you don't have a like a perfect safety. Or often. For the same reason, it's under hit, mm -hmm. and then the cue ball just dies. Oh, but here Lee managed managed to marry the cue ball to the two ball, so that's a foul shot. She was on the six. That was that was a great shot. Well, illegal break is not a standard fall, so Christina mm -hmm. Tkach is uh, not on two, but only on one so far. Illegal break is basically uh, mm. just a change of turn. A change of tide, that's what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. If Lee runs out here. I always try to make fun of shots like that if I miss and make a different ball. Uh, I just try to like laugh. If, if I laugh it off, I normally stay in my rhythm. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's staying positive actually. Yeah. There's the, it's a very hard thing to do. But uh, most of the uh, coaches, uh, just the, uh, they ask their students to try to keep positive all the time. But uh, well, Alex, uh, what's your best advice to deal with uh, some negative uh, thoughts that uh, run through your head uh, during the match? Well, stay positive. Especially, especially, <laughs> especially when you are losing, like uh, yeah, listen, and, uh, make, just, a, make a reset. I think the biggest difference between top Good. players and weaker players is the ability to believe in a strong reset and to make the strong reset. So even if you're down 6-1, to go wash your hands or do something and start from scratch. That's the biggest difference, I think. And for instance, we mentioned uh, some uncomfortable shots. Uh, I think uh, it's a kind of uh, negative as well. 
So when you face your yeah. uh, the, the shot you don't like, it just you, you should try to recompose and uh, forget that this is your Re uncomfortable shot, actually. Re recompose Pelivanovic in rack two of those that first final on the five ball. He got up from the shot three times mm -hmm. and downed the ball. He made it and never looked back. Christina on the five ball two racks ago, she looked at it, didn't like it and didn't play it. So in the end, it's about shot selection. That was a strong shot right there. Yeah, good stroke. Good stroke, this match is changing, so now the coach, even though she's leading 5-3, is under the gun. Yeah. And it is Lee breaking in the next rack. That's the, 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 the challenging thing in pool, when you're in the ch what happens when you're in the chair? She understroked it a little bit. Yeah, it should be, should be good though. Oh yeah, show that. Uh, still two rails around. Yeah, that's the good side of it. She has a natural route towards the nine. But with me here, my skid alarm would already <laughs> would already start a little off. bit. Yeah. Uh, would you name some certain kinds of shots that are skid prone? Maybe like a stun or follow. Yeah. I'll, I'll Which I'll shots cause more skid? Wow. That's well, that ball is never going to skip <laughs> <laughs> if you hit it like that. Strong shot. So her strength is to thump the ball. And when she needs to spin it with stroke, it's her weakness because then she thumps it too much. Mm. But this was a beautiful stroke. One more. Make sure to overcut the ball if you miss it. Mm -hmm. Wow. She was missing uh, no misses on the nine this time. Wow. She was 5 2 down. That was a big, big game for her to yeah. get her confidence back. Yeah, just like uh, like Alex mentioned, this uh, rack could be a game changer. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to go back and forth. I mean, maybe Lee for the next 15 or 20 minutes is, will be looking like the favorite. And, 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 and that will put pressure on her. Well, after all, it's alternate break, so you always get your chance. Yeah. I haven't seen a scratch on the break yet, so... Oh, don't jinx him. Oh, jeez. Lee is on a roll and she she's produced a good break enough speed for the one ball to get off of that short rail but unfortunately I think she doesn't have a straight in shot on the one yes she does not she could opt for to play an aggressive safety, kick and stick, but it's very difficult to judge. She, she, she has considered to play a push out, hasn't found a, a nice spot to play the cue ball to. So this makes her reconsider the aggressive safety. As difficult as it is. So we should go in rail first on this one. Rail first, a full hit with backspin. Nice. She's gambled. 
and did not get rewarded. Almost. So it's some distance for Christina to catch now. Yeah, distance, angle. She cannot roll the ball, she has to stroke it. Cue ball quite close to the rail. This is a testing shot. After having been on the receiving end for 10 minutes. Oh, managed to drive the one past the five. Good shot. Key shot here is the the three ball. Nice angle. Making life easy. Just get in straight on the four or on the other side of the aiming line. Just a touch of stun draw here. Trying to get closer on the line, but still keeping the angle. Angle. No angle. She's picked up uh, her pace. So Thank she's going to cheat the pocket a little bit. Yes, that's it. And once again, she's almost straight in. Yeah, so she cannot come around for the eight to the side pocket. Doesn't want to. She'll draw back. She can't come close to the nine. Just play a stop shot, the stun shot. And down scratch. Nice. Good strokes by Tekach. Just like in her match with April Larson in the semi final, it seems that she's starting to play better in the second half of the match. Well, it's a very good quality to have a second gear you could shift to, like. Well, that's a mark of a champion. That's true. They have a little bit extra in the tank. Nice out. We we'll started with the least choice to play that uh, aggressive but difficult uh, kick shot safety on the one ball. In hindsight, Maybe look for the push out. So it's six to four in a race to nine. Big break coming up for Tukac. Very important. A good break with shape and a run out. We'll give her a three game margin. Oh, by the way, do, what do you prefer uh, and uh, what do you think is easier? Just uh, having a lead or uh, trailing and just trying to gain your opponent? Well, <laughs> it's always easier to have a lead. But once you start losing it? Yeah, oh, good point, good point. Um, I'm a better comeback player than a, fr a front runner in sports yeah. psychology. You know, you have uh, yeah, you have 100,000 models and concepts, but but there's one. It's called MBTI or action type, and you have you have uh, you have players or athletes who are better front runners, very controlled, methodical. They start well, you know, and they don't look back. And you have better comeback players. I'm more of the latter. So, but still, I'll always try to 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 get a lead, of course. But the best thing in pool 
is to come back at your opponent. And even though you're down in the score, you feel like hunting your opponent down and you feel that he's feeling the heat. That's the best feeling. Yeah. And the worst feeling is having the lead. And wasting it, yeah. Yeah. Oh, terrible. Nice angle on the five for Christina. Coming round, three rails, two rails round to seven. Ooh, ooh la 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 la. Oh, oh. the heat, the heat. Oh. Again, this is the same sty type of stroke that she missed. I think three wrecks ago when she had to come around the eight ball. Like medium hard with top spin and a trace of outside. Same shot. Difficult this for Lee. The object balls are close in the pocket. Difficult on any table, but especially on the TV table. Levushka. That's it. In Russian, yeah, that's a trap. A trap. A trap. <laughs> How many Russian words do you know, April? Um, zero. I know zero. I thought I knew a little bit, and I lied, and <laughs> it was German, so... Ah, <laughs> uh, shame on Christina, then. She's <laughs> no. your friend, after all. She, she, uh, she told me that it was German, but, you know, us Americans, I tell you. <laughs> so, too thin, uh, too thick, sorry. Too thick on the five. So it's time to come up with uh, something special once again for Lee. Yeah, well, the, you know, she can cut the six. Make yeah, sure the, the cut uh, looks almost uh, identical to the five she made uh, like two yeah. before. And but here she can let the cue ball travel and and come up uh, above the seven. So position and defense. Wow. No. Ah, she didn't get it all. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it was a good pot. That was a very good pot. Wow. She's in a jam. Would you go one rail here? No, no she go? she can't. I uh, well, she she can she can. But I I think here what I would play, but it's it's sort of an advanced shot. Is is. Uh, hit it soft from the short rail, just drive the seven to the long rail. Sort of a one pocket shot. That's about oh, as good as you can get. Wow. <laughs> well, actually, uh, I've heard that uh, two rail uh, uh, escape routes are easier because, like, uh, the target is larger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think she was pretty stuck on the nine ball now that I think about it. I don't think she could have spun Play it. Play two rails. No. Okay, yeah. She's hitting from the short rail, so this will probably bring the seven and the cue ball in open space. Mm -hmm. If she would come from the other side, she'd stay where the trees are. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, speak. she wow. just made that. She made one against you also like that, I think, yesterday. Yeah. A kick shot like that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Actually, she went for it. I don't think so. Beautiful. These pockets are accepting a lot of yes, shots. I've yes, I've noticed. Yes, they could be, you know, one could argue that they could be a little tighter. Well, for juniors, uh, it's Junior, a have you seen? Much. Have, <laughs> you seen <laughs> have you seen how straight they shoot? Oh, <laughs> wow, that was a huge game. For this yeah, she she scraped it. She scraped it, wreck. Beautiful. Oh, that's, a, uh, that's a punch for her opponent. Which is unfortunate because, like you guys said, uh, she she made a. Strong, strong shot, just got 
incredibly unfortunate on that leave yeah. against the nine. Oh, but that's the nature of the game. That's very true. <laughs> it gives you one more time and just it takes from you the next one. I would have liked it to be 6 5 though. I, yes. I would like it to get to 8 8. Well, it's Every not time, yeah. yet. It's not over yet, no. That was an incredible shot by Christina. Wow. If you're watching this uh, on the live stream, uh, please. Uh, feel free to share. Share the link. Long tester for Lee. Difficult wreck this. Well, guys, here in the booth are Alex, uh, Lady, Mike Kablakova, and April Larson. So feel free uh, to name uh, whose mic is, uh, is producing <laughs> some noise here if uh, you ex experience any technical issues with our streaming. Quick look of disgust by Lee after she struck that two ball. She didn't like the position on the four that she got. Well, she's going to be stretching. Stretching, elevating, and the need of spin to come around the five ball. Yeah, all kinds of uncomfortable on this shot. And it got away with it. Well, and, and maybe even by pushing the five ball in that position, it's going to be easier to get on the six because the most obvious pocket for the six is blocked by the eight. Oh, you know what it probably was? Me adjusting it because I was trying to get. I apologize, everyone, <laughs> for the noise. Well, you see, April is uh, getting experience not only at the table but uh, in the commentary also. Making probably her first steps. Have you been doing commentary? No, so this far? is, oh. I think, maybe like my second time, but oh, so. my first entire match. So. Well, that's great. So, thank you once again for being here with us. Thank you guys for letting me on. I apologize. <laughs> so, so the, the combo is on? Yeah, the combo is on, and, and you know, the cue ball is not where she would have liked it to be, but the good thing is that it enables her to get the cue ball safe. If she opts to go for the combo, dig down and hit with backspin, but she's she's going to nestle behind the nine or cut to the side pocket. That's a containing safety. Good shot. Very nice shot. Good shot. Now the same as before, if Christina goes to the place the shortest distance, both cue ball and object ball go into open space. I would always, I would suggest her to come from the other side, hit with speed, and if she then hits the six on the left or right side, the balls will go towards the eight, nine, and seven to work for you. Well, I remember uh, it was Alex Pegelein uh, featured that some of the instructional videos like explaining kick shots and kick safeties and just saying just uh, try to get the uh, the cut on the ball so just the cue ball and the, the object ball split Yeah. travel to different parts yeah, of the table. In kick shots I'm not a poker player but I understand the concept of poker and of begammon of it's about how many outs you have. So you, in kick shots, you choose a shot where you have a lot of outs. 
a lot of positive possible outcomes. A lot of boudouche. Boudouche? Future, yeah. Future. I bet you can speak Russian a little. Based on the vocabulary uh, I've heard, <laughs> you know, too much. I'm showing off. <laughs> hey, this is going to be 7 closer. 5. Yeah, nice. Good win. Very strong. Good stroke. Good stroke on the 9. A good win in rec 12. Narrowing the gap. 7 5. Still breathing down Christina's neck. Well, I feel for Andre here a little bit uh, because I was refereeing the opening match of the day and uh, I was uh, lucky with the pace of the game actually and uh, that uh, just they were done uh, with... The game was very fast and it, it ended fast and so just... It's 12 wrecks already and several... In to go. Yeah, I was up in my room and my we were watching it on our live stream because, you know, we're still not adjusted to the time zone, so we were sleeping as late as possible and I really wanted to watch Christina's match. So we were uh yeah, we were just watching it and all of a sudden it started going really fast. I'm like, I should probably get in the shower and hurry up. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna go that fast and He had a goal in mind, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Don't chase dreams, hunt goals. Very true. Great Hello. <laughs> so, what's the key shot? Hmm. That's probably um, controlling the cue ball uh, off off the seven. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What's your call, April? Probably getting a getting a good angle on that four ball to get to the five. Yeah, I think so. If you're nice and close to the uh, five with the proper angle, you can come in two rails towards the seven, and mm -hmm. you know. You still need to do it, but you don't need to do anything special. Oh no. Okay, okay. Not leaving a shot, well, not leaving an open shot, but the carom, the 3 4 carom, mm -hmm. is very much on. Characteristic miss. I can feel the nerves for her. <laughs> yeah, if I mean, <laughs> if a player lie. likes to catch, misses a ball by half a diamond, it's a technical breakdown. Mm -hmm. She took her eye off the ball. Now look at the carom. She doesn't see it. She's looking at the safety. Oh, where are the three ball is going to end up in case of a carom? Well, in open space, mm -hmm. I think every elite, well, you know, it, it's on, it's on. She doesn't like it, doesn't see it. Not a bad shot. Not a bad shot. It's a good alternative. There's a window between the seven and nine. Mm -hmm. So Christina will look to hit it full or on the right side. Mm -hmm. She could make the three, bank the three. She, Christina made a cut shot into the side like this against me, so I would not put it past her to uh, cut this in. Oh, she sees part of the ball. Did she cut it to the corner? Into the side. Oh. She'd probably come two rails behind the four ball. Or one barrel straight across. Oof. She makes that it's a different story. Yeah. 
Well, she, I, she was pointing at the spot behind the nine. I think she expected or tried to attempt the three to the side and get that mm -hmm. cue ball safe. Somehow, she misjudged the trajectory of the cue ball. It's a good a roll. Love tap there. A love tap. <laughs> yes, to what you said. That's nice. <coughs> yeah, that was a perfect kiss on the eight. Not shy of leaving herself the distance once to get in. Yes, she has Come some, else. some difficulty to stay down on shots. Some movement. Two rails, punch it or float it, go forward. I think she's playing one rail. Ooh, that was a heavy contact. Yeah. But she made the ball. The five ball slid for a while. Interesting stroke here. Soft stroke it, or draw out, punch it out to the long rail. Mm -hmm. Boom. Oh, that's solid. She's good at those. <laughs> yeah. She got out of a lot of tough situations like that this well, that's week. That's the way Ruslan Chinikov is also uh, always playing, it. like driving the cue Yeah, over, but yeah. He, he has a big stroke. Yeah. So, now three rails, are this can react funny, the cue ball here. Played it well, played it well. Played it very well. Oh. You're about to get what you wanted. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of feeling for uh, Christina a little bit because uh, she's going through hell right now in her chair. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, she missed that three ball by, by, by half a diamond. Mm -hmm. She was straight in. You can tell they both want it really bad. Christina is um, wanting it so bad now, I believe, that she's just trying to not let it get out of her grasp, which in turn is making it fall out of her grasp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, play like it's nothing while it means everything. Yep. Yeah, once again, uh, talking about mental side of pool, which is very hard. Probably the hardest part of the game uh, at the top level. It's the only thing there is, I think. You know, there's, there's shot selection and, and you have smarter players or more skillful players, but in the end, it's, uh, it, yeah, it's, it's mental, yeah. Well, I think about it as everybody's going to make balls and everybody's going to miss balls. It's who, like you said, who has the toughest mental who's going to get to Yeah, to just, just to hold it together. Now, yeah. it's, it's not about doing anything special. It's about doing the simple things right. Broke the balls with a lot of uh, 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 confidence. Cue ball got kicked by the eight ball, I believe. Otherwise, it was sitting right behind. Where yeah, spot on. That was a great effort. There and then, oh, the three ball. Three ball comes and hits it. And you'll see she points at it here. Well, she realized it straight away that uh, the one ball was going to travel uh, to uh, to the rail. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she has a nice two, three rail route to get the cue ball behind the three. Mm -hmm. Limit the speed, make the one ball go past the eight and end up somewhere in between the two and five. Mm -hmm. and that is the way she's playing probably, yeah. Little hard, but that'll work. Yeah, I think in I think for uh, safety reasons, she wanted to control that one ball, which is which is I think is good. If you're not sure of the cue ball, 
play object ball first. Half ball hit, quarter ball hit, bank the one to the left side of the five. Mm -hmm. She's looking at hitting the one ball on the left side, get that cue ball behind the five. That's tricky. It's all tricky. <laughs> Wow. Strong shot. <laughs> oh, Very super, strong shot. Super shot. I don't know if you think that she can see part of this one ball. Oh, she's covered with the five, I think. The five? Okay. But... No, no, no. My wrong. It was an amazing shot because the double kiss loomed so large. Mm -hmm. She showed a lot of knowledge there. Well, but now it looks like the shot is open. Make the ball. Forget about the cue ball. She jumped up. Well, it looks uh, like she played it with a little bit of a left English. Mm -hmm. So probably it was also the reason for like uh, throwing the one uh, to the rail just a little. Now she's left it open for Christina. Big opportunity. Floated in. Nice shot. I feel like at uh, this point, all she has to focus on is making this two ball and then the rest of the rack is hers. I feel like this is the key shot for her. But how do you play the cue ball? Hold it or come around to five? I don't know what she's feeling comfortable with. Just one rail it out. Great shot. Yeah, nice. A lot of quality required on this three ball. Mm -hmm. It's almost straight. It's long. She wants to place it precisely on the four. Oh, just a stop shot probably will do. She decided to bring it that. closer, just a little. Mm -hmm. Now one rail. Niels, Niels can play this. Niels Faye can play the shot beautifully, just one rail. Mm. I would probably go one rail, but a lot of comfortable players who are at this point in the tournament will probably go two rails. I know she opted well, for one. I think one is better. Yeah. I think one is better, but if you're scared, you <laughs> you're playing two rails. Mm -hmm. Two rails things can go wrong. Mm -hmm. Especially with the small amount of space between the five ball and the eight ball that you have to hit the rail. Mm -hmm. Wrong side of the eight. Would you float this in, or would you go the three rails? Mm, no, I think I think I'd go around. Go around. Yeah. Or she was straight. Or stop it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good out. If she gets this nine. Take your time. She's gotta walk around the table. Nice view here. Get to see how she delivers that stroke. Nice shot. Yeah, that's perfect. So Christina Tkach makes the nine to go on the hill. Deep breath. <laughs> Taken by Christina. Yeah, sigh of relief. That was a tense wreck with a change of turns. Yeah, Lee had that cut shot on one. She did take. Definitely not a 
gimme, but for her, uncharacteristic to us, for sure. Yeah. Well, if you if you want to win the final, you want to make those kind of shots. Exactly. Extra motivation with those trophies being right there. <laughs> the two players staring at the trophies as they're playing. <laughs> yeah. Special to play just just that final on yeah. on, on the one day. Imagine to go to bed. Knowing you know, you're one of the only two. Players. Yeah, and having having to or having getting to play that that one final the next day. Mm -hmm. I wonder how she slept. So break and serve for the match. Would be neat to see a break and run right here. Beautiful break. I Two balls down. Four balls still goes. Yeah, after four ball goes, her main task is now to get from the two to the three. Our view of Lee is blurry as her view on winning this trophy. Little space between the five and the side pocket to go twice across. Mm -hmm. But a center ball hit should get her there, should get her back to center table. Stayed down, hit that flawless. Yeah, you don't catch Christina too often at not staying down. on the wrong side of that. Yeah, it's you know it's it's good enough. But this type of angle is a shot that she has missed twice, but she's you know she's not that far from the four. Mm -hmm. How would you get shape on the five ball? Well go around, right? Go two rails. Two. I think for the, I think play she for the needs corner. To, yeah. Okay. She's got a little angle, so the cue ball will be um, driving towards the nine. Ricky Evans there from Missouri, I think. Yep. From Missouri, he lost in the quarterfinals against Jan van Lierop, my guy. Do you know if his elder brother Nick's still playing? Um, he's playing, but not as much anymore. So Takachi getting the extension out. Floated in with a bit of side spin and get to s center table. On this type of shot to get to the seven, you want to position it perfectly. But me myself, I'll decide if I find angle more important or distance. Personally, I, I like to be close to the seven. Uh -huh. More important than having the proper angle. You can do more with the cue ball if you. Yeah, it just well develops like yes, with age. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> possibly. Depend. You know, some players they they prefer angle. The older you get, uh, the closer you want to be. Yeah. I think we're watching the final two balls of the female tournament. Hopefully for Christine. Strong match about the coach. Very strong. She looked. She looked a little feeble in the beginning. Not weak, just feeble. Edgy. She has held it together very nicely. <laughs> Played a safe shot there instead of punching the ball, getting to the rail and out. Mm -hmm. 
just drew back, accepting the cue ball close to the rail. Very good finesse shot. Yeah, 9 6 yeah, victory for Christina Tekarch over Lee Wu Jin from Korea. She wins her world title in the WPA Girls World Championship. Great match by Christina. The first Russian title today, and who knows in the next final, in the junior final, who knows if Fedor Gorst can win the second title for Russia today when he's up against Temujin from Mongolia. April, Larsen, thanks a lot for having you here. Thank you for having me. It was Probably great. Time, time to go and share some facts with Chris. Yes. It was great to see you in action here, and I'll be catching more of you in the future, Thank for sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure. Thanks for joining here. Us. Thanks for being with us, and uh, stay tuned for our last match uh, of the day. It's uh, uh, 3 p.m. local time, so thanks, everyone.